Hey friends, it's Charles here, and I want to do one of my favorite types of videos, unboxings. Uh, today I got what is, in my life as a collector, the best deal I've ever gotten on an action figure. You can guess who it is, because I got my Baroness with me. It's a brand new Baroness from the Retro Card line, and this was listed on Walmart.com. Is $32.99 but when I happened to log on they had it for $4.82 $4.82 for this sealed perfect brand new Baroness that is listed as $32.99 right now um, always be checking Amazon Walmart.com, Target.com, because uh, you can find some incredible one-time deals when you're going through. So let's get this guy open. Let's take a look at him. Talk about first of all the packaging. It is cool. It has that retro card on it, and on the back it is a biography of her, um, along with other action figures from the line. Um, I did an unboxing of this Lady J action figure, which I was really impressed with, and I'm not sure who the other two are, but, uh, yeah, you get to see here, I can already tell, while it's in the packaging, certain differences and things that I prefer from this one over this one already, so let's get her open. I am not a guy that likes to buy them and leave them in the packaging. That ain't my jam. I want to enjoy the rings that I buy. So she is coming right out of the packaging. So let's start with appearance. And we'll do a little compare and contrast. Um, the first thing that I notice right here, and it is a pet peeve of mine, is I really do not like the way that this one is built because of the high heels. It makes it really hard to balance her and get her almost impossible to get her to stand without a stand. Uh, this one is a little bit stiff. Yeah, with the flatter shoes, you know, I can get her to stand up relatively easily. And, I mean, just the whole, it's a whole new figure um, from the skin tone. To the hairstyle, this is more of the short, cropped hairstyle. This is long, you know, um, down all the way covering the back. And we have this cool, shiny part on the tor upper torso with the cobra. You see that shiny cobra emblem on the front there. And that is represented on the belt here. But I really like the way it's represented on the torso. You get a good look at that cobra sign um and we have variations in the plastic we have this shiny plastic that then it delineates the chest area the shoulder pads the gauntlets um the boots the knee pads you have that shiny and then we have that gold base it really adds a lot of texture and depth to the action figure um that is very cool comes with a stand See if we can get these pegs to work. Here we go. So yeah, we gotta stand here. And um you know the uh build is about the same. This one seems a little bit heavier. Um, you know, well balanced, though I like that. Like I said, I prefer the larger flat feet as opposed to these high heel boots to make it difficult to stand and outside of that if you look at the back here here we have the backpack with two machetes and she came with the gun I haven't mixed in with all my other weapons my GI Joes but uh yeah and she has these two machetes on the back which are cool and um on this one we have these two we have two spaces for firearms and so it's the same type of design, but with the longer hair, it makes sense not to have these machetes mid-back. And so that is, you know, a nice difference 
and figures right there. And this is more um, in line with the current comic book renderings of Baroness. So let's talk about articulation. Uh, start head, of course, like most figures nowadays. Ball jointed, full range of motion. Even with the hair, the hair is flexible enough that it will not get in the way. Um, we go down to the arms. Do we have the double joints on the shoulders? Yes, we do have the butterfly cut out on the front and back with the double jointed shoulders. Um, it's impeded a bit by the shoulder pad, but it, you know, shoulder pad looks great. I can really do without the, without the double jointed shoulders on this action figure. We go down. We have the. Uh, yep, there is no. There is no. Okay, yeah, there's no joint in between the shoulder and the bicep, which is different from a lot of the other classifieds I've opened here recently. Okay, there is a. Yeah, no. Not happening. And then the elbows. Are a touch stiff, and they have double jointed elbows as well. So we don't have the we don't have the cut between the shoulder pad and the bicep, but that ball joint on the shoulder makes up for it. You can still get her in, get her into some dynamic positions. We have the swivel between the torso and the chest area, of course rotation side to side on the hips ball joint uh, going from the leg and then we do have the cut here from the hip to the thigh so you can get some side to side motion here double jointed knees so you get a lot of flexibility that way and you got the ankles on a ball joint which is a feature that I'm, that I'm happy to see on all the G.I. Joes. Um, it really makes a difference when you're trying to get them to stand up uh, without a stand. So now we're going to learn appearance and articulation. Let's talk about the accessories. We have the gun here, which is a very cool looking... Uh, I'm not sure what this even is. I'm not a gun expert, but it looks badass. I am not going to lie to you. Uh... So we'll put that in the left hand here. And then we have what looks to be a sniper rifle. Look at the size of that thing. You have the scope. You have no place for a magazine. But that's okay. Those things get lost too easy for my taste. Now I notice on the guns there is a peg here. You see that peg? I want to see if we have a place to mount those on the back. We do. So under the hair, you do have a peg in the back that you would likely see uh, for a backpack on the G.I. Joe's. Um, it's not very practical with the hair. I'm not going to lie to you, that seems, I mean, I see why they did it, I understand what they were going for, but with the hair, it is not the least bit necessary, because it will make mounting those guns impossible. So she also has two pistols here, they go. right here in the holsters on the lower back and that is cool you know I mean uh, kind of taking the best of the older figure with the double machetes on the back they drop that down put a couple of pistols in there you know it makes sense you know for practical reasons because of the longer hair and where it's positioned, you know, having those big machetes right here on the lower back would not make a lot of sense. And of course, 
you gotta have the shades. I actually know these aren't shades, these are just regular glasses. Uh, virtually the same glasses that come with the older figure and they should just slide right here into the hair so here we go the look is complete um overall I mean this has a strong point um you know I, I was very happy with the purchase and I like the machetes and uh, the, the shorter hair does give more options as far as posing but I personally prefer this this is what I see represented in the comics in the cartoons I love the uh, shiny plastic juxtaposed with the dull plastic to differentiate different parts of the action figure and I absolutely love the assortment of weapons that we can do without these pegs but, uh, you know, this is going to be fun for setting up scenes, you know, and getting those photos that we all like to get. And my absolute favorite thing about it is the flat feet, no heels. Um, the heels that really made this thing almost impossible to stand up without a stand. And your weight as well. It's a little bit heavier, a little bit easier to balance. So that has been my review of the Baroness action figure from G.I. Joe and like I said for $4.82 um, you guys always check these websites you know I will go on and I will wait for something to either drop in price or you know keep an eye out for flash sales um, if you see something that you want that is not quite within your price range you know just check back in you never know when it's gonna you know when you're gonna find one of these sales um, yeah, I've gotten a lot of WWE figures at a great price that way. Um, even from Ringside Collectibles, I have a big box coming from them with some insane deals. Insane deals. Um, brand new figures, um, you know, that, and, and the sites, they will do this because they want your eyes. They want you coming back to the site as often as possible. And so they will list something at a complete loss just keep your hook so you know go in keep checking those apps when you have the opportunity anyway that has been it for uh, this review uh, we'll see you later until next time keep buying them action figures yo joe and i am out